Hi guys, welcome to Shed Cam. I'm Cameron and today we're going to be having a look at this 250cc Chinese quad and how we can get more power out of it. So this right here is my 250cc water cooled Chinese quad bike. Nice little radiator on it, it's a really neat little bike, I really like this bike. But I wish it had more power. I have tuned this carburetor before and it did give me quite a bit more power but I want to see if we can get even more to get an even higher top speed. So, if you come over to here, on your quad bike, there will be this little, this little box here. This little array of items or control units sort of thing. And this here controls your brakes, that's your reservoir, and this here controls your throttle. Or you put your finger down and it comes to a stop right, right there. So, we can actually get more throttle out of this, send more fuel and air to the engine at one time. So we're going to be taking this off, having a look inside there, seeing what's, where it stops now, and then we'll remove this screw. This screw here is your throttle limiter screw. We're going to take this all the way back out. We're going to completely remove it, which should allow us to move this throttle right back, which should give us a lot more power. Before we do that, I'm going to do a test so that we can compare how fast it is. I'm going to start this up. I'm going to take it for a drive up and down along there. I'm going to see how much power it's making now, what its sort of acceleration is. And then we're going to do the mod. Okay, so I've started the bike up, just letting it warm up a bit so that we can get some real true numbers. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this thing into first, get up to a bit of speed, and then I'll put it into second, get it a nice sort of speed idle sort of thing there. I'll get it around maybe 3000 RPM, and then I'll floor it, and see how much power we get. And then I'll do the mod, see how much power we get off to that. taken for a drive and um, got some performance it's not a bad performer it does perform quite nicely but now let's see if we can edit this and get a bit more power okay so I'm going to take this off and have a look inside okay so I've taken the cover off now and you can see inside here we can see where the screw, where the screw meets it there. So it's actually quite screwed out already. So now what I'm going to do, get my screwdriver, I'm just going to unscrew this all the way. So there, that's about where it's completely out and it's not obstructing this anymore. So now, this will come all the way and butt right up against there, giving us access to the full throttle. So I'm just going to go and put this back on and then we'll start it up, take it for another test drive. Okay, so I've put all this back together, you can see no throttle screw there in whatsoever. So now, I can stick my finger much further back. It actually comes back quite far. It actually is quite a bit further than what it was. But now, I'm gonna start it up, go for a ride, and see if it's any more powerful. Okay, so, final thoughts about the mod. So, I think it did give it quite a bit well, performance, nothing drastic. Didn't really feel like it was a 300cc or it didn't really feel like it gave you a bigger engine or anything like that. But did make it quite a bit more perkier, quite a bit more tuned up sort of thing. When you took off, you could feel it a lot more. I reckon much better for sort of high-end stuff and speed. 
If I was to do a speed run with it, I reckon I would be a bit faster now that I've taken the mod out. But yeah, I still recommend doing it. I did this mod on my little white quad over here. Took the screw all the way out over here. And on the 125cc, on the 125cc quads, it gives it a lot more power. But on this one, it didn't give it too much more power. If your throttle screw was a bit more screwed in, your throttle limiter screw, it probably would have given you a bit more performance. But because mine was so far already, because mine was so far taken out already, it probably didn't give as much as what some of you might have. But yeah, I still recommend all of you doing this. I wouldn't do it if it was like a kid's quad or something like that, something for your child. But if it's something for you that you don't mind getting a bit of power on, or your kid wants a bit more power, I recommend doing this. Because yeah, it's the cheapest way to get a bit more power, a bit more grunt out of your quad bike. So yeah, if you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing if this is the sort of content that you like to see. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.